Hello everyone, I am Dhruv Advani. I obtained All India Rank 5 in NEET 2023 and I am currently a student in AIMS New Delhi. Today I am here to talk about secrets to score 700 plus in NEET 2024. So I would like to start off by saying there is no secret to scoring high, uh, 700 plus or 600 plus or anything. The only thing that matters is that you work hard and you do smart work. You are optimizing your studying techniques. You are not doing unnecessary work. And I mean, I guess you could say there is one secret as such. And that is practice. This is the only thing that will differentiate you from other people. This is the only thing that will help you score 700 plus or 720 on 720 or whatever your goal is. That practice as much as you possibly can in as many types of questions as you possibly can for all subjects because a lot of us tend to focus on practicing for physics and uh, theory for biology and like chemistry theory for inorganic and practice for physical or whatever but what is very important in all three subjects and I cannot emphasize this enough is to practice and to write mock exams write as many mock exams full portion mock exams as you can in the amount like in the three hour limit and try to uh, reduce the time you take for the exams in fact for example i reduced like i used to take three hours 20 minutes in 11 at the start of 11th grade to finish a full portion uh, uh, 720 mark exam but by the end i was finishing it in about one hour one and a half hours so i would finish it very quickly and then i'd have time to revise i'd have time to bubble and go through any questions that i had doubts in etc so practice will help you in a lot of things it will help you strengthen your concepts. It will help you manage time. It will help you realize where you're making errors. So practice is very, very important. Writing mock exams is the best way to practice, in my opinion, because it's in the exact same format as your exam. So rather than just doing physics questions or just doing chemistry questions near the end of your preparation, it is better to solve full portion exams, as many as you can or exams on a particular topic in the three hour limit and then analyze your exams also. Don't just solve them and then leave them. Analyze your errors. Then this ties into maintaining an error log or a book of errors where you note down your questions, you note down the options, you note down what you're getting wrong, how to do it. And this error log actually was very important because two days before NEET, the only thing I did was I went through this error log once. For each subject, I had maintained a good error log. I went through this error log uh, on the second last day, just before NEET. And then I was done. I didn't do anything on the last day of NEET. I slept and then I went... I think I went for a walk or somewhere with my parents and I didn't do anything on the last day so I wouldn't stress myself out and that is another thing I mean I'll come to that exam day strategies but an error log is very important especially during revision if you don't do it the first time around it's all right but once you start revising the concepts right it is very very important to maintain this then I had formula books in physics which I'm sure most uh, many people must be doing but along with that even in uh, biology and in the parts of chemistry that like in inorganic as well as organic chemistry I maintained something called mind map so basically what these were were I would finish like once I had studied the chapter completely it had been completed in school all of that then before the exam from my memory I would make a a chart essentially or like in a notebook I would make like I would take a page I would write down all the important terms in that chapter and then I would make a linking of all of those. So like if you, this is what it would kind of look like. And then these would lead to other concepts and all of that. And it made it really uh, like it was less of a thing to revise later and more of an active recall technique. For the first time around when I learned it, because it helped strengthen the connections in my mind. Once I'd made the mind map, every, every concept was crystal clear and the way it connected to the other concepts of the chapter was also very clear. And in these mind maps, I'd also mention all the examples, everything. So it would also give me basically short notes, a way to revise it very easily later. And that is another recommendation that I would give, which will help you optimize your preparation, make it very quick and all, is to make short notes, mind maps, whatever works for you, whatever format you like. And... Um, 
formula books of course same thing i didn't just copy down the formula from the textbooks i would remember like i would write them down from memory and i would study the concepts where i couldn't remember the formula so again you are doing you are optimizing your preparation instead of doing the whole chapter again and again you are only doing the parts that you don't remember because the parts you know there's no point in spending a lot of time on those again so that was another very important thing that i did that i think helped me score 700 plus now i'll come to exam day prep for the exam day itself also you need to um, have certain things in mind when you're going to write the exam because first of all you cannot stress out too much now this is i know it seems easy to say hard to do but it is very very important because i know a lot of people who were exceptionally intelligent who could have gotten 720 on 720 easily but they got very stressed during the exam they couldn't understand one question or couldn't answer one question and that was it they messed up 30 40 other questions because of that and this is a very common thing so it's important not to stress too much and the way that starts is you need to uh, first of all you need to be prepared you need to ensure you're prepared to your satisfaction then you need a good night's sleep before the exam you need to have proper meals try not to eat outside maybe like come three days before the exam enjoy your eating uh, home cooked food you're eating at the regular times you're sleeping at regular times and one thing i would recommend that worked for me was i didn't study at all on the last day because at that point you've already studied as much as you possibly can it's two years worth of preparation or how much ever time you spent into it but that one day is not going to make a difference but if you do prepare and you do find a concept that you don't know very well or you're forgetting something that will induce a lot of panic and that is something we cannot afford so close to the exam that's why i did not study and this a lot of people a lot of teachers have told me not to do like to not study on the last day of exam just before exam so it is very very important i would say this is what worked for me but and um, in the last week what i did was i wrote a lot of papers um i wrote up to the last uh, like in the last week the first three days i wrote papers after that i didn't do any papers also uh so like i wrote some papers then all i did was i revised my error log and this error log i'd maintained from the start of revision so it was like a condensation of everything i've ever gotten wrong and that helped me because i knew that this is these are not mistakes i will repeat in the exam and that is why it is very important to be okay with getting things wrong before so that you can get things so that you don't make those same mistakes in the neat exam you need to be willing to make mistakes and then in the last month i used to write a lot of mock tests um i was writing two in my coaching a day and most days i would come back and write one more so i was writing a total of three papers a day now that may not be feasible for a lot of people at the very start because if you're taking three hours you can't spend nine hours a day just writing papers it's very exhausting but um once you reduce your time the amount of time you require to write that paper if you're able to complete it in say two hours then it becomes a very doable endeavor and uh that's what so write as many papers a day as is comfortable for you start with one move on to two and then three but three is what worked for me there were some days where i would write four also but three papers per day was what was like a an average and this was like uh yeah this was important i wrote coaching papers i wrote past year papers whatever papers i could uh, get my hands on i wrote everything and then make sure you're solving all previous year need questions all of those need to be done very important and solve the papers in a neat like in a 720 mark format only instead of just doing chapter wise questions for previous year papers also write the entire paper at a stretch see how you would have done and don't get demotivated okay don't do questions that are very very difficult if they are coming from the aims exams or things that are not in our portions anymore then there's no point of doing them do the papers that are relevant to the current neat pattern okay and finish them off make sure you do those because there are questions that are repeated or uh, are of a similar model and this will also give you confidence you will be like okay if neat was tomorrow and i wrote it how would i have done this is this is basically a sample go through the neat paper that is given the neat mock paper given on the nta website so basically try to solve 
as many papers as you can and try to finish NCRT within the first two weeks if you are still revising. After that, no touching NCRT unless there's a concept in a paper that you don't understand. That is the only time you should be opening the textbook. At the least, that's what worked for me. All right. Um, and I think that's about it when it comes to the exam day preparation. Also, one other thing I would recommend is start some positive self-talk. It's very easy to fall into the trap of getting highly pressured, right? So start with, okay, it's fine if I don't get these many marks or I don't get this college, I will try my best. And that will help you a lot. I mean, it helped me a lot. I was a very stressful person. I get very stressed very easily. But this positive self-talk is extremely important. Make sure you're not too hard on yourself. Right? Of course, you need some pressure, but that pressure should not convert into anxiety or stress. It should not be a source of stress for you. That's about it. Find ways to prepare that um, help you, that you are confident, that make you confident in your preparation and allow you to solve the paper. Find your learning. If you're early in your preparation, find your learning style, whether you're a visual learner, an auditory learner, or a combination, or a kinesthetic learner. And another thing that helped me was I used to use multi okay this is a little scientific but i used to use multiple pathways to encode the information into my memory so what i would do is i would speak the words out loud i would simultaneously write it down on a paper a rough paper i just scribble on the words that i was trying to say and this just created multiple pathways and then i would also look at the text right so it created a visual pathway an auditory pathway and a kinesthetic pathway so there were multiple ways for me to remember that information and that made it a lot easier because there's so many pathways that lead to the same memory. When you look at the question, you're like, okay, I know it. It comes at your fingertips. So finally, my there's no secret as such to score 700 plus. It's all tried and tested techniques. And those are main one is just practice. Find a study technique that works for you. I've told you guys what worked for me, which was error logs, formula books, uh, mind maps, all of that. Writing mock papers is very, very important in the time limit try to reduce the amount of time you take find the pattern in which you're going to bubble the omr how you're going to write the paper write the paper in uh, like write mock papers in uncomfortable situations and be prepared that you might do badly or you might do really well but you are going to try your best that is what matters at the end thank you All the